Sims, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. My name is Sid and we do fun challenges and Sims 4 related things on this channel all the time. Today we're starting a new build series where each lot in Newcrest is going to increase in price. So this is Newcrest in The Sims 4. It's a world that comes with The Sims 4 base game and it comes completely empty like this. And as you can see up top here, we have some smaller lots and as you go around, they get a little bit bigger. And then down here, we've got the biggest lots. I thought it would be fun if we started off with a tiny little budget and then increased our budget for each lot as we go around so we're gonna end up with like the tiniest like crappiest little house that we can and then we're gonna make our way up to potentially a million dollar mansions. I don't know what's going on with my new crest and why mine looks so odd but we're gonna start up here comfy cubby the first lot. This is our random sim who's going to be coming with us on this journey and here is the first lot that we're gonna build on. It's very small 20 by 15. Let's set our budget to like like $700 to start. 700 simoleons, dang it, I always do that. I want it to be very obvious that this is a starter lot, so let's go ahead and get like very basic essentials. Honestly, I'm thinking like a tent could be kind of fun with a cooler. We're going pure like rags to riches style with this. And maybe along those lines, we would have like a garden over to this side if you're trying to make money in like rags to riches or something like that. Gardening is a great way to to make quick cash in The Sims 4. So let's go ahead and build out over here like a small area where maybe our Sims would do that. I have opened up the debug menu, which is edit objects in your cheat bar. And that's gonna bring up all of this like free landscaping stuff. It's like a hidden menu in The Sims 4. And that's gonna allow us to have access to all of these free things. So I am able to make my lot look good for no money. A little bit cheaty here, but I, if you guys know me, I will not leave a lot unlandscaped. It's not happening. And I want to have fun with this challenge. I want to make all of the lots look really pretty while still maintaining our budget. So I've got $135 left. I do still need like a toilet. <laughs> pretty important thing that I'm kind of leaving out here. I want to put trees in the background like this, like big overgrown. It's going to look so cool if we like progress through the neighborhood and see this as a very obvious starting point. I honestly still think The Sims 4 Cottage Living has the best debug. So I'm going in with some landscaping for that. I love using like these little things to making my lot look a little bit more realistic. I added this super magical tree that I found in debug in the back here as well. And look how cute our lot is looking. It's very like whimsical a little bit. Maybe we can roll with that as we progress in these homes. I do still need a bathroom though. So let's go in and see if I can afford literally anything. We got a bush. <laughs> this is how we're gonna have to play it, I guess. Okay, I mean for a starter build, I think it looks really cute. It's just a tent, very obviously a starter house if you could call it that. But let's say our Sim gardened her life away over here, hustled really hard, and now we have a budget of 5,000 simoleons. So moving over from our tent lot, I want to have same vibe, but more expensive. So let's do, let's do a tiny home. We're going to start off building our shell. I'm going to do within the tiny home limit for sure. Maybe even within like the micro home. This is going to be great because assuming our Sim is going to be working her way up the ladder, trying to afford all these houses, a micro home is is gonna help get her there faster because tiny homes in The Sims 4 have these like characteristics that they allow you to make skills faster, but it's going to be helpful for us in this scenario because we have a gardener on our hands. We're gonna wanna get that skill up as quickly as possible. So this is really gonna help us out. For my roofing, I'm bringing in both of the sides. We're gonna pull it all the way to the back and I actually want to build out a roof on the side of the house, but without it being included in a room. And the reason that I'm gonna do this is because if our Sim is going to be gardening, it's it's really helpful if you can garden all the way through the year, like through the Sims year. But some of the plants go out of season, but if you put a roof over top of it, then they don't and you can continue to grow them because it counts as like being indoors. So that's gonna be the strategy there. It's gonna be sort of like a greenhouse. So I've got our glass roof, really just building this Sim up for success here, aren't we? I'm gonna raise this up pretty high. We're gonna make this seem like a way bigger house than it actually is, even though it's a micro home. We can build out a cute little patio here here. This is going to be a cheap house. 5,000 simoleons is not a lot of money to work with in this game. I am liking though that these cottage living columns are pretty, uh, pretty cheap. Actually cottage living doors too. For siding, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. We're going to go base game here. I'm thinking 
something green. Maybe a green could be cute or like we could do an accent color on the side here, like a brown moment. We're gonna use the cheapest windows we can find from Eco Lifestyle, our little baby bathroom window. And I think a mailbox like right beside the door could look cute. So let's bring in the snowy escape one, zero simoleons. And I think I'm planning on going pretty heavy on the debug again. I like the kind of like overgrown look of the last lot. So let's bring that in here. Let's do first our terrain tool. So I'm gonna like map out where I think I want my landscaping to be. I'm gonna mimic that pathway over there that I made with our debug stones. Actually, my wedding stories has some cute stuff too. So what if we put like this here? We could honestly even keep the tent like in an ideal world if I could like own that lot too. We could have this and this is where we could go camping eventually. Oh my God, that'd be a, such a cute full circle moment. Like later on when our girl is like a billionaire, we can come back here and be like, this is where it all began. So I've done my landscaping with debug again and let's go in and do a little bit extra to our front area here. I want the inside of all of these homes to be very green, very lush. And we're gonna represent that a lot on the outside of these builds. So I'm gonna put those curtains there from the Blooming Rooms kit. We'll get some hardwood going on the deck, but I want it to look like, I like this one with the with the screws exposed. It gives it that like starter vibe. And then maybe on the patio, we can put a plant here and let's get a really cheap one like this and just size it up. So we have something going on, but it's not breaking the bank. And there, so far this 5,000 simoleon house is looking pretty cute. Let's go on the inside. We have some very open windows here, so we're gonna have to play around that. I'm gonna have a bathroom over here. It's just gonna be like a three tile bathroom because honestly, we don't have the space or money to do anything else. And we need a bed somewhere. So maybe we should start there. We're gonna go down. The cheapest bed that I like to use is the double futon from City Living. I like it because not only is it a double, but I mean, 250 simoleons, sorry, 290 simoleons as opposed to like the guardian cot. I feel like it's a pretty good deal. On that note, I'm also going to get my other essentials. So I know that I'm going to need like a toilet, shower, sink, all that stuff. So we're going to get the cheapest toilet. We're going to get the cheapest sink and our shower obviously is going to be cheap as well. Let's do the standalone one there. So all that stuff is going to be functional. On top of that, we also need a kitchen. So let's grab, <laughs> of course, the city living cheap stuff. We're going to use the cheapest counters. I really hope we don't have to use these again because I cannot stand these counters. It's called Bland Co. I mean, the names in this game, most of the time they get it right with those. Bland Co. Yeah. So we'll do a sink there and I need an oven and look at our money. That budget is dropping. $731. I did still want to get an easel because in The Sims 4, painting is also a really great way to make money. And that leaves us with a budget of $381. So I think for the rest of it, actually other than a smoke detector, I'm going to spend on aesthetics. So we can also grab a bookshelf if we're trying to gain skills for our sim to make her way up this ladder that we're making. We're gonna need one of those. So we could use this and maybe put a bookshelf on top. I wanna connect it so it's attaching to the headboard a little bit because I like that like angle that it's taking. I need to get some curtains because our bed is like right exposed by that window. I want something that's gonna have a little bit of a pattern on it because we're gonna see that from the outside. Wait, that looks kind of cute. I like that pattern with it, that like pop of blue. It's really not too often that something on the inside of the house brings so much character to the outside, but I kind of like how that looks. We could make it cute with like a fairy light right here. I still need that bookshelf. Bunny bookshelf is only $10. So what I did over here is I added some debug. I added some clutter. What I'm assuming here is our sim is kind of following like a rags to riches guideline. So they're going to be collecting. They're going to be making money, selling stuff. And I put a whole bunch of like little clutter collectible pieces in here. I added this seashell chair with some junk on the side. Maybe our sim is a little bit messy. Our boring, sad kitchen, which, okay, you guys are gonna be mad, but I sacrificed a sink <laughs> because we have one over here anyway, right? Okay, so our gardening sim is gonna spend a little bit of time gardening, making some money, planting within the lines, preferably, please. So far in our neighborhood, look how cute they look next to each other. I can't wait to fill this whole thing out. So now we are way back here. We're gonna build a starter home now. So let's set our budget, 20,000 simoleons. Here we go again, let's build our shell. Again, I think I'm gonna keep it under the tiny home residential. Let's make this a really nice home for our girl here. She's been working hard. A starter home is not easy to get. Trust your girl. Been trying for years. But we can maybe give her some terrain, flatten out like an entryway right 
here. Our house can kind of be like perched up a little bit. It's gonna make it look a little bit more interesting this way. And for our shell, again, we're gonna try and keep this under the tiny home residential, but this time, instead of being a micro home, let's do a tiny home. We're still gonna get some benefits, but it's not going to be as good as a micro home, but I'm hoping we're kind of like past that point in our Sims life now. I want this to be a unique looking tiny home though. I kind of want to make like a, a room up here, an odd looking shell will go in with some flooring and make like a patio going this way. I went over my limit a little bit up here for my tiny home residential, but we're gonna bring it back. I'm just kind of like playing around, seeing what I can get away with basically. I do know that I want to put the stairs on the outside of my build. So I'm gonna bring them out here like this and turn them because I want this to wrap around this way. Like I've made this little area to kind of carve it out. Then our sims are gonna be able to come up here and we could make maybe like a rooftop garden moment. This up here could be like storage or like a, a shed that's up there for some reason. I gotta see about those two pesky freaking tiles up top. I need to get rid of two somehow. But so far I'm liking how this shell is turning out. I, I think we're gonna end up with like a really unique looking home. I'm gonna flatten this area of my terrain so I can make a patio right there and then I'm gonna flatten it so our sims will be able to get up using the smooth terrain tool. And then what we can do because it's free is go in with some terrain paint and then mark out where I want that area to be. So right here will be our patio. That can lead down to this way, our entry area, which we could landscape again later. And then back here, I want part of this to be like the evolution of our garden. <laughs> so I'm flattening this out back here and each time our garden is going to get better and better. So this time, let's carve it out back here. It's gonna be like a full farm at this point. <laughs> We're gonna use an actual fence. I'm gonna use maybe a little bit of debug landscaping, but I'm gonna try and get away from that now. We've got the money. We don't really have to be that stingy anymore. We still have to be careful, but not too much. Yeah, this time we have evolved. We're gonna go full on with these vegetable patches here from Cottage Living. Full garden patch back here. We are professional now. For our roofing, I think we're gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm just gonna roof this top part and then keep our fence like outlining the top of this. So we'll go in with our roof, but since it's gonna be such a basic roof, I do wanna make it look a little bit more exciting. So I'm gonna copy and paste these two pieces like this. I want it to be hanging over a little bit because I'm gonna actually bring this in and then copy and paste another piece on top, but I wanna make that part that I just added smaller. We're gonna bring that in and then extend only the one side in front. And the idea here is we're gonna have a glass piece going in the front part and it's gonna be hanging over like that. And then in the back, we can add a different kind of like roof paint. We can go in with a dark paint maybe. We're gonna add some trim. And then if I do that to the other side, it's gonna look like a little bit more like the greenhouse eco feel that we're going for. So I'm gonna do the same thing here, bring this in. I'm gonna copy and paste that to the front. And honestly, I think it's just for design here. I think it just looks kind of cool. We'll make sure all these roofing pieces here are snatched. I might even bring in a fence here for like a little extra detail too. Like that could go maybe only on that side. And since my front door is here, I'm gonna take this fence here and bring this over top, delete these tiles in between. And that's gonna be like our overhang for our front door. Just like the last house we built, I'm gonna put this up on stilts. I do wanna bring elements from each house along with us as we go. Maybe we can bring this fence kind of down to the front, like bring it along the side here. We can do siding like the last one. And I need to be careful because my budget is approaching 10,000. I don't wanna go too crazy on the outside, although I am focusing a lot on the exterior for these. Our Sim loves the outdoors, but I gotta make sure we have enough for the inside. I don't wanna cheap anything out for this Sim on this interior. From here on out, she's got everything. We're not cheaping out on our poor girl. She went from having a bathroom bush to a full-blown toilet, hopefully. Let's do cottage living door up top. And then for the front, I think I might go with like this one here. Yeah, that looks cute. And then up top, what I was thinking as well as the garden patch we have in the back, we could put these, like maybe these could go down here along our, our patio area. We could put more of like these big ones along the side here. Like I think I could probably fit two right there. Let's try these from Perfect Patio. I think I'm gonna just stick them along this one side. It's kind of acting as a fence over here, but it's just gonna be for this corner. Plus I wanna have tons of cute elements and details like these little flower boxes we can put on the windows. These cute tiny little ones from Debug can go right in the front here. And then again, we have tons of areas for our Sim to garden. So our upper floor here is looking adorable. I think what I'm gonna do is finish off the bottom part and add the rest of our last minute details on the outside, like our chimney here. We need definitely some trees and landscaping going along this whole 
thing. So let me do that and then we can go inside. So this is what our house ended up looking like with all of the landscaping. I did manage to keep it under the tiny home residential, so we're gonna get those perks still. For a starter home, this is cool. This is probably one of my favorite starters I've ever built. We've got our patio leading up with all our landscaping. I don't think I used very much debug in this landscaping this time. I did some of the cottage living stuff because I think it looks pretty, but all of our rocks, all of our base game bushes are here. And then in the back, obviously, we've got our garden area for our gardener. Let's go inside. We have about 8,000 simoleons left. We need to do the interior of this whole thing. So I'm gonna bring the cottage living wood that we've been using in here, but I think I wanna split it up. I know that my kitchen is probably going to be in this back area. I was picturing this back here as my bed area. We're gonna be open concept for this build, but I'm gonna try and like divide it. Let's use a Strangerville illusion of a fence. We can walk over that since we'll be fine, but I like how it divides the flooring there. We're gonna get our lighting, which honestly, I kinda like the color palette that's already coming in here, like the beige, the pastels. And for my wallpaper, I'm actually gonna divide it up as well. So I've got a little bit of eco lifestyle paneling. We've got some base game paneling here as well. And then in the kitchen, I don't know what it is about this like polka dot tile. I'm feeling that today. So let's start off with our kitchen. We'll grab our essentials. I'm thinking we should do maybe like a blue to start. Like this pale blue is kind of what I'm picturing. We'll wrap it around this way. I wanna make sure we have absolutely everything. We can do maybe a pink fridge over to the side here. Our sink I'm actually gonna replace with the cottage living one that comes with these counters. And then our oven, let's put our oven over here. We're gonna do the pink one or maybe like a slightly paler pink with our stove top. And now all I need is my smoke detector. I think because I don't have a whole lot of room to clutter, but I do picture this sim being very messy. I'm gonna add a windowsill, which I like to do just with like a base game fence. I'm gonna shrink it and put it right here. Now I can move my sink and my counters and raise things up using control nine on my keyboard. Like we can raise this up here and it's just gonna provide us with another area to clutter without it taking away from the functionality of the build. So just little things like that over there and now we can put our stuff back and we have some clutter. Before I get too carried away with that though, I do wanna make sure that we have our essentials and I don't wanna give our poor girl the same used futon for this. So let's upgrade, let's get maybe this bed here. Let's go with Dream Home Decorator. We can bring in that pastel, like the blue and the pink there. Another thing I wanna bring is our easel from the last build. We're still making money by painting. And actually we could make a pretty cute like painting area over here, I think. What if we brought in these? Like we could put these paintings over in the corner. I'm gonna actually bring over our windowsill trick and apply it over here. Cause I think it would look so cute if I found some like paint stuff in debug. We've got a paint mixing cup. I can put a paintbrush and the sun is gonna come in that window. Our sim is gonna be painting over here. That's gonna be really nice. Let's maybe also bring it together with some hanging plants in the background. Like maybe these ones from Nifty Knitting. I'm definitely bringing these hanging plants into this build as well. Let's put them over in the kitchen. Maybe I can shrink them. Our bathroom stuff again is gonna be pretty cheap, unfortunately, but maybe next time in the next build we can upgrade for our sim. But I'm gonna do the second cheapest sink. We'll grab maybe that mirror there, but nothing, nothing more than just the basics in here again. Mostly just cause I wanna clutter the rest of the house. Let's do a shelving unit over in this corner. I'm gonna put these together and stack them up. Again, going off that idea over there with the paint clutter, I wanna bring some in here. Maybe also some plants. We do have a green thumb. We could put that flower basket in there. I wanna get, I think there's like actual paint cans. Yeah, this stuff I wanna put in here. I wish we had different swatches for that, like a nice pastel one or something. I need a dresser still. I'm actually not doing too bad on the budget for this build. For a starter, I mean, some of the EA ones we've seen. I recently did a 10 minute runo for an EA build and I'm hoping that this is a little bit better than that. We need a dining table. So I think I'm gonna use one of these retro ones here from Eco Lifestyle. It wouldn't be that outside of the realm of possibility either because assuming our sim has been like collecting, maybe doing a little garbage digging, you can find some of this stuff in the trash, which is why they're in debug. Let's put maybe a couple more like collectibles in these shelves here. I ended up putting a TV on this little crate here. We've got the Eco Lifestyle TV, some pillows on the floor. We've got our bedroom area with a cute end table with a plant on it, our paint area over here. I've been loving lately using these like streamers. 
these are garland pieces from Seasons and some of the patterns in there are really cute. I like to hang them anywhere I have like some empty space. We've got our shelving units over here, our dining table in the middle, and our super cute kitchen which I added a little extra clutter over there as well. We have our bathroom in here and the last thing we have to do is one more room upstairs. We've got this like storage area up here. I think what I want is this here. This is from Eco Lifestyle. It's got like plant pots in there. We can do a hanging plant. Let's get one that's like a warm tone in here. Like that one looks really nice. I love these little planters so I'm gonna put a couple more of these in here and $91. I need maybe like a trash can or like a wall accessory. Honestly these could work. Maybe I'll just kind of like hang those on the side there. And you know what? 61 simoleons left. I think I'm gonna leave it for our sim here. I'm gonna leave it for her and maybe she can use it to buy some like seed packages or something. She's gonna have to be hustling before we move on to the next house here. So we are gonna end off our build series here with the starter home, our 20,000 simoleon budget. In the next episode, they're only gonna get bigger and more expensive. We're gonna go up to maybe like 50 to 100 and I plan on going all the way up to as many lots as we can fill, no matter how expensive that is gonna be. <laughs> That's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the start of this build series. Let me know any suggestions or comments you've got in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.